What's up, world? This is your man, Sandman, Mr. Sand44 Man. I want to just say that uh, Detroit Raw was something that I, I really thought that Detroit really needed. Um, someone that was going to speak up and really talk and explain and narrate to the citizens of how disgusted they were as far as feeling you. And um, I got some reviews about, or a review or whatever, which really took, I really took to heart because Detroit, I don't want to seem like a buffoon or somebody that's uh, illiterate or, I'm a very successful young man. I just happen to be a black young man that's very successful. Um, it doesn't matter. If you know who I am, you know who I am. And I don't need to go through that all again because I don't even want to hear all that all over again from anybody. But my point that I try to let everybody know is I'm a real person. It doesn't matter how much I make, or what I have, or what I do. I care about you, the citizens, as well as the people, period around the world no matter where you are that's in despair it's been a long time before we've had somebody to stand before us and fight the opposing views and opinions and the prejudice of what is commenced upon us but I do listen to my people so I guess I want to say that I'm going to stop being in front of the camera. I'm going to stop narrating to you just, just to see. Hey, let's just do a little test. Because um, this opinion, I really, I really, I really, um, I really I'm going to tell you, I really take to heart. And I, I, I value this individual a lot and they, they, their opinion on, on me and, and how I am as an individual. And um, it's like I'm more to an extreme. Now, I've talked to other people to say, Sam, for you, right on the money with that. You know, keep that up. But it's, you know, it's imbalanced. One person says it's good. One person says you're not good enough. I don't know, Detroit. I mean, I'm not, I'm not paid millions of dollars to sit in front of you every day. I do this for free. I get up out of my house. I look at my news. I come outside, I see my community, and I feed on my vibe from all around me for that day. I don't mean any harm if I've hurt anybody by the way I speak, the way I talk too much. I may talk a little bit too much, so what? Freedom of speech gives you the right to speak and say anything you want. So many people want you to say, shut up, shut the fuck up, don't say this, don't say that. I, okay, I'm cool with that. I won't say anything. I will just from now on until this happens. Show me you like me. Show me more. I already see today in just 45 days I went from zero to over 2,000 hits. Now it's not a big thing to you because the kids out here they're taking little phones and tape a fight and they got a half a million views. So that's why I say this opinion that I'm hearing from this individual, it's to the degree that maybe I'm not doing the right thing. Maybe I should step back and just let the world go on the way the world goes on. Because I'm an interference. I'm a, a wrench in the, the norm. And I don't want to become that. I'm saying too much. And if it makes that individual feel better, I want that individual to feel better because I want that individual to continue to watch me. Just as if you were to say in my inbox when you comment on me, uh, Sandman, keep that up. No, don't get off the air. Don't stop. You keeping it real. I need to see some stats, y'all, to let this individual or any individual for that matter who may doubt this, who may think, there are people out here, y'all, don't want me to do this that will hate the fact that I'm talking to you too much. That's what I do because I have knowledge. But the he who has knowledge don't speak 
will be unknowledgeable to anyone else. So therefore, what is the reason for a wise man if you don't want the wisdom of a wise man? If you've been out there in prison, you know where I'm coming from. If you were born in civil rights, you know where I'm coming from. If you just tired and sick of seeing your community looking the way it does that I expose. Even my own grandparents. I brought my own grandparents. My own personal family and exposed to show you. I'm not exempt. My family is not exempt. So what I drive a nice car. So what I have a truck. So what I live a decent life. A decent life. I don't live in West Bloomfield and neither do I live in Troy. Or nor do I live in White Lake. Or nor do I live anywhere there. I live right here in the city of Detroit. And if I shouldn't say anything and just run my video camera and point you to a, a street and go and walk into these dangerous buildings and abandoned houses and put my life on jeopardy because I don't have no security. I don't walk in these places with nobody, but I try to show you how easy the access is to these places. I don't mean to say that your daughter's going to be raped. I don't mean to say that your children is going to walk down an alley. But when you leave your child and kiss them goodbye and don't take them and drop them off in front of the school or go into school with them, how does your child go to school? Do they walk through the alley with their friends or do they just continue to do whatever? It doesn't matter what I say. Action speaks louder than words. If I have said too much, I apologize to you, the whole entire world. I apologize. I would never do it again unless you tell me to. We have no more Malcolm X's. We have no more Martin Luther King. Jesse Jackson has been exposed. And so now he don't say too much. Who do we have speaking for us, black men? The black woman? Hell, we not even stronger than they are. Look at your average commercial. Is it a black family setting? American dad. Cleveland show. Not my father. Cleveland show. Simpsons. See what I'm saying? All these different programmings for individuals not of our culture. But I'm speaking too much. The disproportionate amount of people that are without jobs, without fair housing, The disproportionate amount of black men are in penitentiary. This is, I'm just talking too much now. I'm Sanford Miles, aka Sandman, Mr. Sam 44 Man. And if I said too much, I'm sorry, once again. But I'm not a sorry issuing type of person. I gotta really listen. Because sometimes I don't listen. I've been a failure, y'all. I'm sorry I waste your time. I'm sorry that I went to school to try to think that I would ever make anything out of myself. I would never be anybody but who I am. I can show you the world. I can give you the world, but I still mean nothing to anybody in this world. So with that said, I will discontinue myself in presenting myself in front of this camera. If I continue on, I will continue to look in my inbox to see that I have people that really want me to stick with this. But I have to have your comments. If I don't have your comments, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Because I value one person's viewpoint than anything. And this is the only person's viewpoint that I'm really seeing. That I'm really hearing. 
So until I can tell that individual, look, this is what the world says they want to hear. Shut up. Show the video and go on about your business. Because nobody cares about you. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody wants to hear you. That's the way I took it. But, I mean, everybody has their right. They have their opinion. But I'm going to listen. Because that's a viewer. To all you viewers out there, I won't waste your time or your lifestyles or anything else. Continue to go to my website at Mr. Sand 44 Man at YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, Google Plus, and also Social Cam. I will let you all continue now to go to your previous lives and continue to type up the next person that you want to hate on and the next person you want to fight. Because although 2,000 or over 2,000 views over 30 days is pretty spectacular to me, it's not to other people. And until I can show them different, I'm a nobody. I am. I really failed and sucked at this. I tried though. So nobody can ever, ever look me in my face again and never say it. I never tried to change. I never tried to change. I never tried to make change. I never wanted to see change. Nobody ever approach me and ever say that again. My name is Sam for Miles, y'all. Until I hear from y'all again, just check my photos out. I'll still go into Vickers houses. I won't narrate no more, or at least I won't narrate a lot. I'll say where I am, this is the house go from there till I see something else that I can sit back and present to somebody and say bam look the world said stay your ass on here we like you other than that it's a wrap as Brian Williams would say this has been Sandman producer of Detroit Raw thank you for watching have a good evening and to those that are in Tokyo, Japan, good morning.